and right back into it welcome back and thank you for joining i still thoroughly appreciate the dedication thank you all right so we just got done with that hell of a mission Ooh, why do i hear sparkles Rebellion. why do i hear it is it up here oh it's over here urn of ashes I think what we're gonna do... Great, it's in the room that I can't get into. Perfect. What the hell is growling at me? Revelio. Okay. All right, so I think what we're gonna do... So can't do that one yet, because I need Alohomora. So what do we need to do now? What's our main quest right now? Flying class... Oh my god! Yes, we're gonna go learn how to fly. After his assignments, of course. Okay, let's just go this way. Rebellion. Yeah, it's everything behind these locked doors. Keep going up. Going up, 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 up. Oh, now I gotta go down. Is it down here? Rebellion. So it is down here around the corner. Okay, come on, hurry up loading, come on. What is up with this little thing over here? So I have to wait until daytime, which is fine. I'll wait. And look, everyone's over here. Begin. And we shall get started. Oh, this is great. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, I don't have a broom. Everyone. Please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, <laughs> let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, 
Your turn. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. Got it. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. I get to fly! Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do uh, take care. Uh, I the think I'm getting the hang of this. Property. <laughs> I want them returned in one piece. Did it. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Sure. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Oh gosh. I gotta learn how to go down. Go down. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. So if you just go down. Oh gosh, the turning on this. Buddy's gonna hate the turning on this. <laughs> Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> This is so much fun. <sighs> ah. That wasn't too bad. you fly through those rings you seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging but I'm getting ahead of myself we haven't probably met I'm Everett Clopton am I right in suspecting Clopton. that Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure mm. Kagawa seems strict I wouldn't want to get into trouble Kagawa won't even notice Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. The so I guess it doesn't matter. About to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quick? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the 
famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, cool. That was so much fun. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Yes, ma'am. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Thank you. First time, first. When it comes to things in Hogwarts, sometimes I'm good at first tries. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she shut up at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. You better. All right, let's talk to Kagawa. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Gryffindor should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now. Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an hour from me. You're also Will welcome do. to drop by any time with questions. Thank you, Professor Kagawa. I've forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Shut up, Sebastian. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery. I thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Actually, I kind of do need that. Actually, speaking of distractions... I wish I could afford my own room. Instead of using my brother's hand-me-downs. Ah, uh, you have hand me downs. Dear Madam Kagawa, Marvelous. Okay, well, you guys, if you want to read that, you can pause and read. I'm not going to read that whole thing. Okay, that's Madam Kagawa's office. What's in here? Oh, that's all the stuff for uh, Quidditch, I think. Okay, so now that flying class is done, let's go here. We can probably find Sebastian. Nope. Yes, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna. We're gonna. Acquire and use a focus potion. Okay, maybe I'll come back to this one later. I'll do. I kind of want to do. 
that one. We'll do this one. As I walk through the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, I take a look at my hat and realize I look stupidity. <laughs> Stupid. All right, which way? Rebellion. It's over here. Then you come over here. Use incendio. Sweet level sixteen. Rebellion. Got a wooden cat. Okay, nothing in the hallway. All right, let's go to Professor Weasley. Apparently married. I love hearing that music. Going to Revelio. Okay, nothing in here. There's a ding in here somewhere. Why can't I just... Oh, I should've just fast-traveled, but I think I'm already... And a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old puzzles. Shut up, Arthur. I do need to work on my studies. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Well, hello. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Thank you. Shall we? After you, Professor. I'm too scared to go in. I'm a little scared of cat. Holy crap, what kind what of room is this, is this? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Okay, so I need this room? A student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I would only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. 
While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone Deke! Out. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, new spell time. Is that... hold on. Is that X or is that triangle? Okay, so it's triangle. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Okay, let's... We'll do Evanesco. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I want to learn Alohomora, so I can open Where up all those damn doors. Is that elf? Is that hey, I've waited Christ. for you for ages. Perhaps you were sent a few more. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just oh, is take it? a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <sighs> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Sorry. Rebellion. Oh, that was for a chest. Rebellion. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. This is really cool. Bit offended the room, thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. This is so cool. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Where's Deke? Rebellion. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? <laughs> your wits and find out. <laughs> Rebellion. It's like a little maze in here. It's so cool. I love it. L O V E, love, love, love. And let me guess, nothing's in this room. Rebellion. Literally. Oh, they're all on the outside. That's great. Where is that golden snitch? I hear it.
Incendio. This is so cool. I just gotta figure out which way I'm going here. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Is that Deke? There's Deke. Found him. Yikes! Careful, huh? Oh, there you are. Went right yes, there. Yes, Deke, it's he me. Will come to you. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Sorry if you guys now, heard that. It's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Oh, will it? Hey, there's a page up there I can get. Holy shit! The room is changing! Holy shintake mushrooms! Oh, sorry. I had an itch you on my nose. You've yourself quite a canvas to work with. That is so I cool. I forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Cool. This will be more useful when I have something to identify. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now. I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. You're gonna teach me? Okay. Oh gosh.
Got it. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. And do potions. We're just going to do this one. The furniture's locked. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I wasn't going to. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully. I already Return have it. To me once you've got. I don't have enough moonstone? What's up, Deke? Revelio. Huh. Alright, I guess we're gonna go do another mission. Because I don't know where to get moonstones. Sorry if you guys are beyond. It's been one of those days. Rebellion. Why? Now 
that have collected in a moonstone I should return to Professor Weasley in the room requirement. Okay. I thought she just told me I had to go get I didn't didn't think I had enough. I did not think I had enough moonstone. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. Good. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I'm just going to put a couch in the middle of the dang floor. Let's do paintings. Yes, I need more. Okay, let's pick another portrait here. We need two more. And then we're gonna do... Want decoration? No, we don't want that one. Yes, please. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Go! 
got it. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Revelio. I have some questions about alteration, Professor. Yes? Thank you, Professor. I have no more questions. <laughs> I'll be here. I thought I was supposed to come talk to you. Okay, can we customize this table? Oh. Nice try. I'm just gonna stick with that one. Alter the style of any item. Now alter the size of an item. Ready for something a little more advanced. You Am I? The spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Your deke, this bit of magic some years ago. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Mm, sounds perfect. That is so cool. I made it look awesome. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. If you'd like to customize the space further, 
you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. All right, now that we're done with that. Deke, what do you want? I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. No, I don't. Yeah. What sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. And astronomy tower. Right. What other requests can I do? Let's Yeah, let's actually go to here and we'll get ourselves our own brooms. Where's it right there? We're gonna go to Hogsmeade and get us a broom. Woo! I'm actually going to do this while we wait. I'm going to change out my headgear. Nope, that's not the good shirt. Okay, let's... Outfit, do I have a better outfit? Yes, I do. Inventory... Talents. Protego. Was this one stupefy? Okay, so after Talents' collections... We'll come back to the collections part. Uh, 
Okie dokie. We're gonna wait till it's daytime, till all the shops are open. And we're gonna go get ourselves a broom. New face! Wonderful! Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yep. weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. I need a broom. I need a broom. I think I'm gonna go with Ember Dash. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Actually, shit. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the okay, college pitch care. and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay, Once I do need to talk to you though. Time, be sure to sell something. Nice. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Give it to him. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you. Okay, let's go back to gear. Do I have face where I can do? Let's do it. Revelio. Let me see. 
Over here. Over here, I saw you. These are all locked. Well, you know what, guys? I think I'm actually going to end this one here. So thank you guys so very much for joining. Please have a good day. And please have a good night. And always, I'm still hoping you're having a good life. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.